I'm going to show y'all some of our hunting buggies down here. This is a, was a sand rail. It's been converted. And the beer wagon. Yeah, and or beer wagon. This thing is actually seeing a lot of countryside. And then we go over here. We have another one. Somebody built the body on this, kind of make it look like a Jeep. And I found this on Craigslist about three years ago. And the crazy thing is, it's the brother of this one, which has been around down here for about 30 years. And like I say, these are not can amps, but they've probably outlasted the lifespan of what any can am will. But I could be wrong. They've outlasted several previous owners. Yeah, I, like uh, James just said, they've outlasted several previous owners. And this is the newest one down here at the camp. It was just purchased as a sand rail and it's had some modifications done to it to make it so you could use it for a hunting rig. And that's three out of five of them that are running around down here. What he's doing here, he's uh, patching a crack on the wishbone frame that holds the motor up right above where the uh, axle goes across. They tend to break right there, and he's doing it a pretty smart way, you know, for doing it out at the down at the at the hunting camp. He's gonna weld across the crack, and he's gonna uh, patch a uh, a uh, like a splice, uh, I guess you call it a fish plate over the top of that and uh, strengthen it up. Take shape. Might need a little trimming up there, but I made it a little long on purpose. So. Pretty dang close, isn't it? Yep. Let me go check it. All right, he's got it patched. Like I said, this is a 60 year old vehicle, and that patch is not the prettiest thing in the world, but it probably lasts another 40, 50 years. See, Randy, when it's, is, is this thing is plumb cold? Yeah, it's, it's, it's cool enough. I like to have it open about like that. Okay. Now, see, this thing here controls both the uh, choke and the... It's, see, yours doesn't have an idle valve like our... our it's down there. on the very bottom on that side. Where? Right there, you got your finger on it? Yeah, but it doesn't have a, a, a air bleed bypass like ours. Oh, okay. Which is all right. That's about how I'd adjust it right there. So let's see if it'll start like that. Mm -hmm. 